Hey everybody, for those joining us for the very first time, welcome y'all, welcome. My name is Orlunda, welcome to the Sweat Corner. For those who are my normal subscribers, hey Swag fam, how's it going? Okay. I'm coming to you bare face, bare face today. I'm going to show you my effortless foundation routine. And it's effortless but flawless as well. Um, my foundation routine is very, very, I guess, simple in the way that it's set up. According to me personally, it's very simple. Whether I'm doing my normal everyday going to work uh, makeup or I um, have places to be my makeup really doesn't change because Oh my foundation routine does not change simply because the thing that makes your foundation glow and sit well on your skin is How you prep your skin you cannot have a good Foundation if your, your skin prep is bad because 80% of this is literally how you prep your skin and 20% is then how you blend out your foundation and how well it matches your skin. Whether the foundation is too light, whether the foundation is too dark, it doesn't matter. Foundation will sit nicely. Not that it will look nice, but it will sit properly if your foundation prep is done properly. So I'm already like prior to filming this had I've already like washed my face and all of that. So I'm going to like backtrack my entire routine. I didn't apply any lip gloss. I don't have my eyebrows done. Nothing. So what I usually do after a good like face wash. This is even before I start filming. Even doesn't matter what of the day I start filming. I go in and I like to wash my face. Or at least clean my face properly. So today I'm going to use the Porsche M Pure Luxury for your skin. Marola Skin Toner. Clarifying Toner. Rich in natural fruit extract, extracts. So I found it at Discam. Once I've done, I go in with my L'Oreal Paris Revital Lift Serum, Hydrating Soothing Serum. I like this serum so much. It's more on the pricey side, but it's the one product in my skincare that I have really invested in. And then I go in with my um, Vaseline or Petroleum Jelly. I know for most people, petroleum jelly is not your thing. I know it will not fit your skin because probably you have oily skin, but I have dry skin. And especially in winter, my skin soaks up this thing so much that I don't have issues. I don't have any breakouts, nothing. Plus I don't use, oh, I don't use a lot of it. I use literally that amount. Oh, today I'm using the Elizabeth Arden, um, Elizabeth Ann's Petroleum Jelly, Mild and Gentle. It is not fragrance free. There's a little bit of fragrance, but it's mostly like the ones that they do for, make for babies. That's my favorite type of one because it's very, like, it moves nicely in the hand and it's not hard. I know I could basically use Vaseline, but I like the smell of baby, so. And then... I my lip gloss lip therapy from this game with vitamin E for my lips and last not last then everything follows up with my with the uh with sunscreen SPF 30 guys you know how much I feel about like skin protection sun protection cream this is the only thing that I'm using now for me it's very important even if I'm in the house this is literally my last step The thing I like about this one is that it applies like when you're applying it the first time it looks like your skin is going to turn white and then it doesn't. While previous ones that I've had make my skin turn a bit purple, also white or purple. But you also get those. So that's that. 
and then I go in with a primer the one I've been using now that it's winter is the rose Revlon Rose Glow Hydrating Illuminating Primer. You can see again, it says hydrating. My skin is dry. So I'm not looking for products to take water out, but to retain water. Also just a little bit of that. And then I prime my skin. Okay, so skin is prepped. I'm gonna go in quickly and I'm going to do my eyebrows because you already know. I've, I already have two videos up on my channel on this channel so if you haven't seen a eyebrow tutorial from me please go and then just i'll put the link here if i don't i'll put it in the description section you can go and click there and then see that video welcome back so i did my eyebrows very very quickly so so now we've primed already now you're going with your favorite foundation what is my favorite foundation at the moment so my favorite foundation at the moment is this Superstay 24 hour coverage uh, Maybelline New York foundation in the shade 70 Cocoa. The option now is to either go in with a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender or to go in with the brush. Most of the time it just depends on how I feel. <laughs> I'm nowadays I've like, started to feel like um, a brush first and then a beauty blender is like looks like that look finish for me is very nice when my skin is this nicely prepped I don't even use a lot of foundation basically that first pump that I put on here those two pumps are the only pumps I'm going to use for my skin because now it's already nicely prepped the skin is ready to receive and that's all the foundation my skin needs so you can go in and go with a beauty blender if you don't trust a, a brush a foundation brush I think for this look I will also go with a no no eyeshadow type look so that our focus is just on the skin and not even on the eyeshadow at all So see how quickly my everything blends in and then you can go in you can also do that the brush and then you can go with the beauty blender i usually do that anyway right see how effortless that look if your prep is good and it's not just to do with the fact that oh yeah maybe you'll be like oh it's because you have a nice skin it honestly has to do with how you prep your skin for to receive every product that you're going to layer on top of it so I'll go in with the infallible L'Oreal Paris infallible more than a concealer concealer <laughs> in the shade I think I mentioned this a while Coco 339 you can also go in with a lighter shade yeah I also have honey I usually use both um, where I do very light and very dark but you don't have to do the very light we're going very basic and just giving the skin it's attention so I'm going to get in with cocoa and you don't need to use much I'll just put some there and I'll put some here I'll put along the nose because then all that product I can carry to the side that's all I need and then along my nose and then here this one here is like the shade is good enough for me to just cover some of the spots that are not covered by my foundation um, I don't like to go in with like a concealer underneath so I just do that now I'll use my L'Oreal Infallible Stick Sculptant Long Foundation this one is almost finished I don't know what I did with the other one, but if you don't know, I will like scrape the last out of this. So I'm trying to create cheekbones and I'm just going along my bone. Okay, so the trick is to go into that hollow that you have just under your cheekbone because the idea is that you're trying to emphasize your cheek emphasize your cheekbone. 
so i don't put a lot because my cheekbones are almost already like prominent i don't really put a lot i just might want to create that dub and it makes, makes my my skin my face look a little bit slimmer so just a little bit there now put there no now put a little bit here not so much a little bit on the side trying to elongate the face a little bit right what happens now is that you have to let your your concealer and your contour set i feel like i'm getting i get so much of the product when i start to move it that i get so much pigment out of it if that makes sense it sits so well so i let it like chill for a moment so while that one chills and because i'm not going to do like proper eyebrow eyeshadow routine i'm going to clean up my eyebrows a little bit and fix areas where i feel like you know my eyebrows don't look even kind of thing now that we are done with that part i am now going to blend out my concealer and my contour See, so you don't need a lot for the under eye at all. You can go in with your concealer. Just want a little bit more coverage. So the trick about um, concealer that you buy is that you want to buy a shade lighter than your, your foundation because it's not really about becoming white under the eye but it's just trying to um highlight those areas that the sun hits and under your eye is one of them and also when people, you see when you look at the difference me blending that out me having no, nothing here so also that so you don't really want to use a lot a little goes a long way i know sometimes i also get carried away with like using a lot for no reason at all but you don't need to use a lot. Also, you don't have to put concealer here. I put concealer here because I'm dark in this area. And so if I don't put concealer there and just foundation, like every time I take a picture, you can actually see the shadow right at the top of my up I love because of my beard that grows there call it a beard I don't know what to call it but that one it is a beard basically I don't know how small it is still a beard and then here the side of my lip it comes all the way up to the side of my lips right in the middle here you know and so I like to go all the way and highlight that part as well just to lighten up that area of my face because this is the area where the sun hits so that's the area that I really like to be highlighted See how that looks. And you also want to start blending on from here. Because you want this area to be lighter and then that area to be darker. Because this is the area where you mostly want to create that chisel, you know. And plus, even if it's a bit too dark, it anyway looks very good because it's the parameter of your face. Instead of you using, of you starting to blend here because then the dark spot will be here. And if you're not like a professional and know how to blend it out, not a professional but a usual makeup user, then yeah, you're going to find yourself at a space where you have like a funny spot right, in, right here because you didn't blend it out properly. It also frustrates yourself because if you're not used to blending and you're, you know, then you're not going to blend it out properly.
Okay. I'm quickly. I'm okay. So, look at how effortless the blending is. Come a little bit closer because I want you to just see it. See how effortless that looks? That's what you're looking for. And then when you do go in with the powder for highlight, you don't want to do so much. Okay. I'm going to go in with the Candid Photo Ready Anti Pollution Setting Powder. I think, yeah, you've seen me use this. In the I use this a lot. It's almost finished anyway. Literally. Only that part left. You don't use so much of it. Now you have two options now to apply your concealer. You can either go in with your damn beauty blender, right? Or you can go in with a brush. But you wanna go in with a blending, a very light, either blending or like a nice angled fluffy brush. I'm gonna show you both. So I'm gonna do my right with the blender and, and then my left with this one. The idea that you don't use a lot, it's not that we are baking, especially for me with dry skin. I, I like, I must really stop myself from baking. It's not baking, it's just setting that under eye so it doesn't crease. So you dip it in and then you just tap it, the excess off and you go in with that. And that's basically all you use. I could have used this for basically both sides. So you do the same, I'll do the same here because I also do it on my the top of my lip because that's an oily area. But as you can see, is that effortless? Setting. So with the brush, you do the same. You put your brush in your, um, your your powder. You tap the brush off the product as much as you can, all to the point where like it feels like there's nothing left. And then that you take and then you tap onto your skin. See, at the end of the day, the brush even gives you less because you tapped off a lot. But I like the side of the 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 the, the wet blending uh, the wet blending brush. So there you go. You've done it. You've set. I'm just gonna put it in the center. That's done. And then you can you go in with you can either this is a step that you can either go in with a translucent powder like all over your face. My translucent powder that I usually use for the for my entire face is the Invincible HD Finishing Powder by by Black Opal. It has a tint to it which I that I really like. So that basically is what that looks like. Or I go in with my Colorless Day, uh, my Revlon Colorless Day Foundation. I mean, press powder, compact press powder in the shade Mocha. And that's almost finished. I kept this one for a while because I usually go, I'll go in with this 
only where I use my contour and not really all over my face but you can use it for all over your face because then oh Jesus help me because it is your your face um, powder but I don't use a lot I'll even I'll either I'll sometimes go I'll go in with a brush or I'll use my puff my puff is dirty now so the puff was wet so you can go in like that all over your skin okay so I went and put some lashes on I've really been loving um, cutting my lashes in half and then putting them on So that's basically what I did. Um, I put my wiggy on for it because I wanted and I pulled it up so you can get the the emphasis of the the skin. So this is give you what that looks like. Skin go. Okay, where was I? Right, lashes are on, the look is almost done. At this point, you can either go in and put a blush on, but I would go for something like a bit orange because the orange will make the face pop a little bit more. And then, you know, like, I don't know if you put some blush. I have the ones that are shimmers here. You can either do that or you can just go on and put like a highlighter on. That's really up to you. So I'm just going to go into this shimmer zone mine here, orange one. I think I'm going to use a bigger brush. I always go for a little bit of shimmer on my nose, a little highlight. And this is basically where your look can end. It can end here if you just put on a good lip gloss. So emphasis can be on you just putting on a very nice base. I mean, nothing else. This could literally be that. A lip gloss and you're good to go. But I'll go in with my La Chocolat. I like this brown. I really do. And that's it. We have created a flawless, effortless, light foundation routine. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've come, if you've come this far, you've already subscribed to the channel and that you're most likely to watch other videos. I'll put a link here of other videos that I have. Please go on and watch those. Don't forget to like this video. Also put your comment down below. What do you think of this look? Do you like it? How does it and my ponytail. Ooh, a glue. Until the next video.